Good morning and welcome to MTV. Study after study shows how difficult young people have it these days. And at the platform Are You OK Out There, the university offers coaching sessions to help students cope with their mental health problem. We will talk about it later with coach Juke van der Sluis. But first, news. Flights within a 700 kilometer radius, the Erasmus School of History, Culture and Communications will no longer be covering those expenses. The faculty wants to reduce its own CO2 pollution. The school is the first department within the university to make such decision. The Dutch government is allocating an extra 8.5 billion euros for education. Students will also receive corona compensation. What are you entitled to? Take a look at the overview at erasmusmagazine.nl. On EM website, you will also find an election poll. For which party will you be voting in the upcoming elections for the Dutch lower house? That is exactly what we would like to hear from you. And how will the various faculties vote? Keep an eye on our, our website for the results. The corona crisis has hit entrepreneurs hard. Restaurant Smack, for instance. This restaurant is run by five year students and started as a catering business. Due to the corona crisis, they had to revamp their business model. Smack itself started about four years ago. Uh, we were primarily a catering business. And um, obviously due to corona, we were left in a situation where we couldn't cater in uh, large venues anymore. So we had to go to the drawing board, we think, and um, this Uber Eats idea came about. Yeah, we set this up primarily to help the refugees and to get good food out. And what kind of food do, does the refugees make? So the refugees, um, we saw in Dina are from Syria and Iraq, and um, the food primarily comes from that area. So primarily Middle Eastern food. And what is your favorite menu on the list? Uh, my favorite food definitely has to be the chicken and rice. How are you doing? Students who are feeling low or facing psychological problems can seek help via the platform Are You OK Out There? We will talk about it with student coach Juke van der Sluis. Welcome, Juke. Uh, Juke, uh, you are a coach. What kind of coach exactly? Yes, that's true. I am one of the student coaches at City for Students, which uh, means that I talk to students all day who uh, discover all sorts of challenges in their studies, and they come to us for some uh, guidance along the way. And uh, you and your colleagues already finished more than 170 treatments for students. So is your agenda always full of coaching sessions? It is, yeah. <laughs> there is not a lot of room for other things. Uh, I talk to students all day long. And uh, what are the main problems that students experience? Uh, at this very point, uh, there are all sorts of problems, but I think the most um, uh, pronounced one is students who um, have to deal with loneliness. Mm -hmm. And uh, you also said in earlier interview that online education uh, and remote le lectures, it makes it uh, harder for students to have organic contact? Yes, it does. Because generally friendships develop um, when you meet people on a regular basis, see them, for example, during lectures, um, and without having to commit to uh, a sort of uh, date or something. So it would be very weird to ask someone who uh, we just met uh, to go for a coffee date, while if you talk to somebody or see that face regularly, um, it's a lot easier uh, to uh, initiate a contact like that. Yes. And that opportunity has just uh, fallen away. Yeah, so making contact is not as easy as before. And with the vaccine uh, being delayed, it's hard to say when we are going, to, uh, going back to the normal again. And so does this uncertainty also play a big role in the mental health issues among students uh, at this time? Yes, I believe it does. Because... Um, 
talking to others is a basic coping mechanism that usually helps us deal with a lot of stress or uh, even negative thoughts. So it's great to have somebody to talk to, to uh, share your uh, ideas or just even to be uh, in social interaction and then being distracted from uh, all the other things and finding some peace of mind there. Yeah. Uh, so all of that from uh, yeah, have a big impact. Yes, and thankfully they have you now, right? They can uh, contact you for uh, help. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm here. So uh, when you look at the students seeking from help, can you discover a pattern, maybe a difference in age or gender? Yeah, when we look at gender, uh, we see that there are more girls subscribing to student coaching than there are guys enrolling. And I think that has a lot to do with um, uh, guys experiencing it as a bigger step to ask for help in the first place. Yeah, and uh, international students, uh, Dutch students, how, how is it, uh, the percentage? Uh, well, during the first 100% uh, uh, coaching sessions we had, there were more uh, Dutch students, but by now it has shifted to us seeing more international students. Yeah, and in comparison, uh, we see studies where international students are hit harder than their Dutch counterpart. Um, what is yeah. the reason behind this? Uh, well, that's a great question because it's something we see as well. Uh, I think it has a lot to do with uh, what we just talked about, how social isolation uh, is generally a bigger problem uh, for international students as they are more remote from their families and, uh, well, they don't have a network uh, yet. Uh, and on the same, at the same time, they, the challenges they face tend to be a bit bigger because they are far away from home and because they are in an culture and because there is so much uh, different for, for them. So it makes sense that they have these bigger challenges. And uh, as a coach, uh, how do you help students? Do you have one size fits all uh, tips? No, I wish it was that easy, but it's not. So uh, what we basically do is. Uh, um, see what, what, what uh, an individual needs, and that's different for everybody. Uh, there are, of course, recurrent themes, but uh, the actual solution is different for, uh, for everybody. Yeah, and which coaching techniques do you use the most? Uh, well, I like to uh, use a bit more of a solution-focused uh, orientation, in which I invite students to uh, look at successes they've looked previously. Uh, when you wanted to make friends before, like what did you do? Uh, how did you uh, manage to do this? Uh, what skills did it require? And by investigating these previous uh, successes, really, we can learn uh, about things that can generalize to future successes as well. Yeah. And then we go and search for ways to uh, yeah, increase the chances of success. Okay, Juka, thank you for sharing. And uh, good luck with the coaching. I hope more students come to you for help. Monday is the International Women's Day, and unfortunately, until now, women still have to fight for their rights, like receiving the same wage. And this is how it feels to be paid less for the same work. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you all for watching. EMTV will be back next Thursday, 9 a.m. Go to erasmusmagazine.nl for the latest news.